Yes, double-double with fries well done. Of course I want grilled onions. Mr. Richards, your two o'clock is here to see you? Ah, yes. Come on in. Whoop! Pardon me! Hey, Dick! How's it hanging? Uh, pretty... pretty well, uh, Joker. How, how about yourself? Not great, Dickless. Not great at all. I just took a stroll down to the local multiplex to catch a matinee of Suicide Squad, a film you assured me was to feature a bold new take on the Clown Prince of Crime. And most definitely not take a hot steaming dookie on my legacy. So, what did you think? It was awful! A travesty! A human rights violation! I had to go and watch Green Lantern again just to wash away the stench of that incoherent abomination. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. I've read Tumblr fanfics with a better Joker in it. First off, the look is all wrong. Look at me. I've got style, class, real panache. What about this? Reads tattoos, a grill, and no shirt, huh? And what the hell is with damaged right on the forehead? I'm the Joker! People get that I'm not all there. It should have just said try hard on his forehead. That would have been more subtle. Now wait, David Ayer explained on Twitter that his Joker has the tattoos after Batman punched his teeth out and sent him to Arkham Asylum. Uh, so he's showing that Batman damaged him? Do you really think that that's a good reason? Actually, now that I said it out loud, no, it, it does sound pretty dumb. And what were you thinking with Harley and me? What? You guys were a cute couple. Yes! That's exactly the problem! We're not supposed to be hashtag relationship goals. We're supposed to be the textbook example of an abusive relationship. I don't really love Harley. Hell, I've thrown her out more buildings than I can even count. The only person that I truly love besides myself is old Batty Boy. But you had to muck all that up by making us a pair of lovesick puppies. Making me look like an emotionally dependent rube and Margot robbing Harley of her empowering moment when she finally realizes that she's better off without me and leaves. I'm sorry, Joker, but all that abusive stuff wasn't testing well with our focus groups. Oh, we can't have that. We can't have a villain who's known for committing some of the most heinous crimes in comic book history ever do anything bad. It might make people feel uncomfortable. But it's totally okay for Slipknot to just punch a woman in the face. Slip... who? Slipknot. The... the rope... the rope fellow? The... with the... Did you even see the movie? Full disclosure, no. And we haven't even touched on the film's disjointed tone, sloppy editing, and dialogue that sounds like it was written by a five-year-old. Honestly, it's like you folks want these films to be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joker, you finally figured it out. What? Of course we want these films to be terrible. Look, we know that we're never gonna catch up to Marvel. They've had years to build up their cinematic universe. We don't have that luxury. The superhero blockbuster bubble has got maybe five good years left in it before it pops. That's why we started playing the short game. We're not looking to build a lasting legacy. We want to make a quick buck. And the best way to do that is by stirring up controversy. I'm not following. See, we don't make movies. We make trailers. Flashy, style over substance trailers that rally the fanboys who just want to see their favorite comic book moments on screen. The movie, of course, turns out to be a sloppy mess that critics give an average rating to at best, but that's all part of the plan. Because we then use Rotten Tomatoes, a website we own, to count the average reviews as rotten, driving down the tomato meter and causing the fans who have already made up their minds that this is the greatest film ever, to sit atop their little internet soapboxes and defend the film before they've even seen it. And most importantly, it gets them to buy pre-sale tickets. We made over a hundred million dollars before anyone saw even a frame of the film. Then of course we stoke the fires by feeding them hollow rhetoric like it's not for the critics, it's for the fans. To trick the little sheeple into thinking they're part of some big underdog fan base all the while we're raking in the dollars by the truckload. Because in the end, it's not quality that matters. We don't give a shit what those malleable mongoloids think. All that matters is their money. And I've got 500 million reasons why Suicide Squad is the greatest film ever made. Wow! And I thought I was...
was an evil psychopath. I mean, this plan, this scheme, it's absolutely genius! How to trick people on such a massive scale! It'll be the greatest joke of the century! <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, what did you think, Joker? The studio is run by a bunch of incompetents? <laughs> like, like we're all a bunch of big idiots to keep making the same mistakes again and again? <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this, why not check out a couple of our other awesome videos? And be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest content, coming at you every Tuesday and Thursday. We also want to give a shout out to our buddy Greg Wilmot, who played the Joker in the sketch. Click the link in the description to see his channel. Well, that's it for us. Bye now.